The first part of this video was edited for shock purposes, and although untrue, it was edited to shed light on extreme high levels of nursing home abuse and neglect here in Stark County, Ohio, and across our great nation. Nursing home abuse and neglect affects the most fragile members of our society. And in 1986, Congress passed the Patients' Bill of Rights, which was just as strong as our regular Bill of Rights, because even then, at that time, nursing home abuse and neglect was at crisis levels. And then since then, it's ballooned into an epidemic, and in my words, paying for profit. I prepared a short PowerPoint presentation to assist me with sharing some vital, maybe life-saving information with you on one of the facilities in our, in our area. This information, although true, very true, is very troubling. I've entitled this presentation, Nursing Home Abuse and Neglect, W. Nursing Home Abuse and Neglect. A voice to the voiceless. Too many of our loved ones are being abused, neglected, and left for dead in today's nursing homes and facilities. These thousands of abused and neglected residents are oftentimes left with no voice and no advocate to ensure that they receive the mandated quality of care that they deserve. It's truly an epidemic. Nursing homes are often understaffed, although this means high, very high profits for the corporations and facilities themselves, it often means leaving the patients lacking proper care. It decreases the limited staff from being able to address the residents' medical needs in a timely fashion. And this could also lead to the breakdown in patients' resi and residents' health and mental conditions. And I'm sure it's also led to massive abuse, neglect, and as I described previously, paying for profit. These are some pictures of my mom when I removed her from a facility here in Stark County, Ohio. That facility is Alter Care Rehabilitation of Louisville. This is her left ankle. The wound was, this is actually after it started to heal for about a month with me and her own nurse. It was actually the size of about, a little smaller than a 50 cent piece. On her right ankle, her left ankle, and her whole backside. I was wondering why she was grabbing the bar all the time while I would come to visit her and like she was in pain. But it never registered until I took her to her physician. And he cut the gauze, off, gauze pads off and I see what was actually being done. Aftercare Rehabilitation Nursing Home of Louisville. Uh, here's some vital information you might want to learn about that particular facility. Out of the altar care facilities here in Stark County, Ohio, there's 13 that I found. This is all public information. I'm going to share this information with you. Out of the 13 facilities I found, Medicare has rated 11 of them as much below average and the other two as below average. And Medicare is the one who has to pay the bills. On for the most percentage of times. And this information that I'm sharing with you can be found on the following website, www.memberofthefamily.net. Again, www.memberofthefamily.net. And under nursing home survey ratings, complaints, report of repeated violations, and medical ratings, click Ohio. And you'll see Ohio Nursing Home Information Registry. It's actually Medicare color codes it from red to green, red, yellow, blue, and green, with red being the worst. Red meaning they actually cause actual harm and the patients are in immediate jeopardy. In Louisville Center for Rehab in Louisville, you had, uh, they had repeated violations of failing to develop and implement required procedures for the administration of immunizations. They failed to have a program to keep infections from spell spreading, and, meet, and they failed to immediately tell the residents, doctor, or family members if the resident is injured or if there's a major change in the resident's condition. They also failed to make sure the nursing home is free of dangers that causes accidents. Louisville Center for Rehab is also on the national watch list of nursing homes. This is something we truly didn't know before we 
proceeded to actually let our mom reside there for a few months. This information we definitely should have looked up beforehand. And that's why I'm providing you with this information. And this is all public information. Facility number one. Medicare rates this facility much below average. 12 violations substantiated. WTF. Alter care of Besiris. Medicare says much below average, excuse me, much below average based on nursing home staffing as of 7-29-2010. Alter care of Hartville. Much below average, Medicare says, based on their staffing, 729-2010. Alter care of Hilliard, Medicare says below average, based on their staffing, 729-2010. Alter care of Mayfield Village, Inc. Six violations substantiated, Medicare says much below average based on their staffing, 729-2010. Alter care of Canal Winchester Post ACU complaints eight violations substantiated. Medicare says below average based on overall rating as of 7 29 2010. Alter care of Cuyahoga Falls Center for Rehab. Medicare says much below average based on quality measures as of 7 29 2010. WTF. Alter care of Alliance Center for Rehab. Repeated violations to keep accurate and appropriate medical records is to make sure that the nursing home is free of dangers that causes accidents. Seven substantiated violations. Excuse me, five substantiated violations. Medicare says much below average based on ratings as of overall rating as of 729-2010. Alter care of Navarre Center for Rehab. Medicare said much below average. They have repeated violations of failing to complete a care plan that meets all of the residents' needs with a timetable and actions that can be measured. <clears throat> Alter Care of Navarre Center for Rehab is also on the national watch list. Medicare says much below average. WTF. Who is it? Who's watching these people? Alter Care of Nobles Ponds, Inc. Repeated violations. They fail to make sure residents who take drugs are not given too many dosage for too long. Yes, and to make sure that the use of drugs is carefully watched. These are repeated violations. To stop or change drugs that cause unwanted effects and to make sure that those nursing home areas are free of dangers that causes accidents. WTF. This facility, Auto Care of Nobles Ponds, also failed to store, cook, and give out food in a safe and clean way. Medicare says five violations substantiated, much below average. Seven by Alter Care Mentor. Seven violations substantiated. Medicare says must be low average based on staffing as of 7-29-2010. Incredible. This is all public information, people. This is Alter Care of Stark County. Alter Care of Valley View Homes. Repeated violations. They fail to properly hold, secure, and manage each resident's personal money, which is deposited with the nursing home. I'll repeat that. Alter Care Valley View, repeated violations of properly holding, securing, and managing each residence, personal money which is deposited with the nursing home. Medicare says below average, based on measures as of 729-2010. WTF. Alter Care Wadsworth, Medicare says much below average. Alter Care Post Acute Center. Yes, post acute. Anybody entering acute center needs very, very, very watchful, measured care. Medicare says for the acute center, much below average with nine violations substantiated. WTF, people. When you're in these facilities or if you have a loved one in the facility like I had my mother, it's incumbent upon you to ask questions of the staff. Most of the staff are generally ready to complain because they're usually understaffed and you'll hear them say stuff, take notes, take visual pictures, uh, file necessary complaints. I had the Ohio Board of Health investigate um, Louisville Center for Rehab and they substantiated my claim. It took them about 60 days and they were thorough and they handled their business and they came through and they substantiated my claim. You can, uh, if you have a loved one or, or 
a friend has a loved one in the facility in your state, if you're not in Stark County, then file a complaint with your state board of health and your state board of nursing. You can also contact Ryan Family Services at 330-956-1029. That's Ryan Family Services at 330-956-1029. Or their website is Ryan Family Service, excuse me, Ryan Family Investigative Services at YML.com. Help the voiceless. Alter care the nursing homes and the nursing homes who persist on providing these low and often dangerous levels of care have to be made accountable. These are repeated violations that's public record and I'm sure you're not aware of it. They have to know if you're going to be in business to provide quality care to our loved ones that you must indeed do just that and that if not you're going to have to be accountable. So if you're in one of these facilities or have a loved one Excuse me, if you have a loved one in one of these facilities or a friend, it's incumbent upon you to be a little more thorough in making sure that they're receiving the mandated, not only mandated, but the quality of care that they deserve. Because what I've just showed you is ridiculous. And that's why I myself call it paying for profit. Because if you're not providing the mandated quality of care and you're being paid, then what is it? Thank you.